Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video from uh, from me for Art Anthology and today I thought I did so many um, art journal pages the last times that I want to do a canvas this time and I prepared my little canvas by wrapping around some burlap strips that I cut off of a burlap sheet that I had and then just um, tie them into a knot onto a canvas and then I thought you know what? I want to do something in green. So I took my green coloration sprays and just randomly sprayed them all over. And after I started with like the first one or two spritzers, I realized, whoa, this is going to look like a camo background. So I totally run with it and I love the outcome. So what I did was just um, spraying the avocado clover and sand castle sprays randomly onto the canvas and onto the burlap, then heat set it. As you can see, the colors, like um, they are ending up a little bit muted so that's why I added a second layer with the same three colors and just randomly sprayed it all over heat set it again and then had my background layer that looked like camo um, I also made sure that all the sides of the burlap because it looked a little weird because it was still like the burlap color so I added a little bit around the burlap as well just because I usually hang my canvases onto the wall so I wanted to make sure that it really um, looks good from all sides <laughs> So then I thought um, it needs a little bit extra color. So I used the Timeless, which is one of my favorite coloration sprays colors, and added just a few spritzers on top of the camo look. So next up I used my Lotus stencil and I used the Leaf um, Sorbet paint and stenciled it through that stencil, but just the Lotus color. Um, and because I was a little messy there, I ended up getting a little bit underneath, but you see later how I fix it. It's actually rather easy to keep that um, all straight and clean and with uh, clean lines. <laughs> so I had stenciled the lotus and then I took the cotton sorbet color and just um, randomly created uh, or stenciled some of those patterns uh, on the top and the bottom of the canvas. And what I love about the cotton, and as you can see, it's quite empty already, that, that's how much I love the cotton sorbet, is because it doesn't stay white. Um, it's not an opaque color. It takes up a little bit of the color from underneath. And I love how it always then looks like it melts into the background. Then I'm using my Dazzle. And what Dazzle is, it's just adding like a gold glitter onto wherever I put it. So the milky cream that you see there, that disappears, it uh, dries clear, and then you, you're just left with some really awesome sparkles. So that is, if you don't like glitter, and you, if you don't want to deal with glitter, get this stuff, because that is so not messy to use. <laughs> and it's really, um, I love the effect of it. So here I'm cleaning up the lines of my lotus uh, flower a little bit and I'm just using a toothpick and outline the areas where the leaves are to give it a little crisper look. And as you can see it works really well so sometimes um, you don't need to throw away your um, image just because it didn't stencil all clean and straight. You can fix it with a toothpick. Simple tools. <laughs> so then I heat set everything again. And then the next step is using uh, some minks. And I haven't used those in quite a while. And I, every time I use them, I'm like, why am I not using them more often? So I start with the Allure, which is a really bright orangey yellow, uh, just around the lotus flower because I wanted to make it pop a little more. It, I thought it kind of melted too much into the background. So I'm running this around, uh, heat set it just a little bit, make sure that it looks like it runs into the burlap, and then I'm taking the gold dust uh, minks and outline the lotus so it gets like a sparkly shine around it. So gold dust is also rather, um, it's clear, but it has a gold sparkle all around it. And I really love it. Just trying to mix it in with the allure, allure, allure. I'm, I'm having all the links down below. <laughs> can figure it out yourself how to pronounce it. Um, and just heat set it again. So now I had all my back base and now I wanted to add a little bit ephemera on top and I picked some flowers in a yellow color and then I picked also some black and white images and I picked also as you can see at the bottom a black and white flower that just like peeks out of the burlap at the bottom and then I'm adding like those creepy dolls um, on top as my focal point. This particular pair is not as creepy, but usually those images, those black and white images are kind of, ooh, um, I can't look at them too long. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
Then I just sit here and as you can see, I'm just using my usual Tombow um, adhesive. I'm not dealing here with messy um, gel medium because gel medium takes forever to dry. And in this case, uh, the Tombow adhesive is really more than enough. Just to tear it down and it stays put, not too worried about it. Then, um, because I accidentally removed a little bit from the dazzle when I adhered the dock, so I'm just adding a little bit more dazzle on top, uh, it also helps with keeping the dock down a little bit. Just a little secret. So at the end, um, I'm just adding some uh, finishing steps to it. So I wanted to add a little bit... Uh, yeah, I was thinking about like what type of sentiment or what word to add. And I couldn't quite um, decide what I wanted to do. I didn't want to add like those saying strips. I didn't want to write something on my own. My handwriting is terrible. So I picked my word stencil and added the word art on top of it. And that's kind of, it fit to my current feeling because I was so busy with work lately that I haven't created a lot, unfortunately. So after the moment I started with this canvas, I, I instantly felt this relief of, oh my God, I can craft again and all the stress falls away. So it really um, helped me, art really helps me to relax, right? That's what, what I love about it. And I love that I, the moment I start that I can just start running with it and it's just coming out of me. And that's why I thought art is the right word, even though it's not 100% fitting for that canvas and something like friends or family would have probably fit better besides the fact that it doesn't fit. But <laughs> I don't know, I felt today, especially today, I needed that word art there. Um, I don't know, it just made sense. Anyway, <laughs> um, I just added, so the final steps is just outlining the flower a little bit more with a white gel pen, just to make those crisp lines pop a little bit more. And then I'm done with my canvas for Art Anthology today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked uh, the process and watching me creating this Camo Effect canvas. Uh, don't forget to check out all the supplies down below. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video and if you want to see more of those kind. And then I will see you soon. Bye!